Welcome everybody to two WWE 2K15 SmackDown. And Diva's number one contender Nikki Bella is in action against Summer Rae. Welcome everybody to SmackDown, live from Washington, D.C. As Summer Rae makes her way to the ring for our opening contest. As Summer was in the first round of the new Divas Tournament, exclusively on WWE Main Event. And unfortunately, she came up short against Emma. But tonight, she gets a chance to prove herself against WrestleMania number 1 contender, Nikki Bella. And Nikki Bella, of course, won a big TLC match against Naomi to become the WrestleMania number one contender. And she'll face off with Divas champion AJ Lee at WrestleMania. And of course, uh, Nikki, uh, seconded by R Truth, those two have become good friends. And uh, rumors behind the scenes is a possible romance. And there's Bella Z, two ladies lock up. Tremendous episode of SmackDown tonight. After uh, the events of the Elimination Chamber, Daniel Bryan has challenged Shawn Michaels to an Extreme Rules match here on SmackDown. And what a main event that should be. The Heartbreak Kid, Shawn Michaels, picked up the win at Elimination Chamber with a little sweet chin music. So this Extreme Rules match should be the rubber match. But I don't know if it'll settle the score for those two once and for all. Also tonight, we advance two more tag team series as the Anarchist, Finley, and she uh, Sheamus take on Sting and DDP in match number two of their best of five series, as well as match two of the primetime players versus the Chick Magnets. That, of course, a part of the tag team contendership tournament. So big things going on on SmackDown tonight as Summer Rae takes Nikki Bella over with that beautiful arm drag. And Belly, um, <laughs> Belly, Nikki battles back with the Belly to Belly suplex. And now taking a page out of AJ's book with those elbows in the shoulder. And this time it's Summer Rae with the Belly to Belly suplex. Both these ladies having a rough week. Nikki Bella came up short against AJ this past Monday on Raw. And as I mentioned, uh, Emma overcame Summer Rae in the Divas Tournament exclusively on WWE Main Event. Wednesdays right here on Twitch, of course. So uh, both these ladies looking for redemption at the end of the week here. Nikki Bella wants to prove that she is still worthy of being number one contender for WrestleMania. And Summer Rae just trying to get a win. Oh, look at that. Summer we're running for the crossbody and Nikki with the dropkick. Nobody won that situation. But Summer Rae right on top of the Luthez press and raining the punches down. Shades of Stone Cold Steve Austin. And Nikki Bella grapples Summer and brings her right over with the suplex. Tremendous maneuver there. Nikki brings those elbows down in the neck one more time. Definitely soften, softening Summer up. And there's another, I don't know if she's mocking the champion, but another one of the champion AJ Lee's favorite moves, that running bulldog. And she tried to pick up the win there. Came very close. Beautiful reversal by Nikki there. She's in complete control of Summer Rae at the moment. Oh, and she's got her in her crosshairs. Summer stumbles to her feet. Nikki scoops her up in the rack attack, and it comes crashing down, breaking Summer Rae in two. And here's the cover now. One, two, three, and the number one contender stays dominant on the road to WrestleMania. Let's take a look at how this one went down. There you see Nikki Bella blasting Summer Rae with the running bulldog. But Summer had it in her to kick out at two. 
But then, it was all said and done. Nikki scoops her up on the shoulders, cranks that spine in two, and gets the cover, the count, and the victory to kick off Friday Night Smackdown. What a victory for Nikki. She'll look to do the same thing to AJ on the grandest stage of all, WrestleMania. Last week, the Anarchist picked up victory number one in this best of five series. Can Sting and DDP turn it around against these angry Irishmen? The icon Sting and DDP have been trying to work their way back up the tag team ranks. Going to get a tag title shot, possibly against uh, the Authority someday, should the Authority make it past WrestleMania as champions. But unfortunately, this um, this series is a little late to jump into the tag team contendership tournament. But there's always another title defense right around the corner, and if Sting and DDP are victorious in this best of five series, it could propel them into a championship uh, match. But tonight, they have to contend with Finley and Sheamus. Two hard-fighting Irishmen that also got a lot to prove in the tag team division. And the Celtic warrior and Fit Finley. Such a powerful combination. Sheamus, unfortunately, this week came up short in a European Championship uh, contenders match. So he's right back on the grind with the Belfast Brawler as they uh, pool their strengths to form the Anarchist, Shin Sheamus, and Fit Finley. Can they put down Sting and DDP again and move to 2-0 and in this Best of Five series? We'll find out in moments. There's the bell as the Stinger starts off with Sheamus. I look at Sting not wasting any time here. Already has a vertical suplex on Sheamus. Beautiful leg drop and Sting going right to work here. Sheamus, great uh, back suplex to Sting though. Not going to let Sting get a run away at the beginning of the match here. Nice arm buster takes down the icon. And there's a reverse suplex. Sheamus uh, really digging deep into the repertoire tonight. Grapples the icon, scoops him up, and drives him down with the spine buster. And Sheamus starting to do some serious damage now. Tremendous left hand, right forearm block, and Sting takes Sheamus down with the running clothesline, and he smartly makes the tag to DDP. Can the master of the diamond cutter put down Sheamus? Sheamus still taking his lumps, he doesn't realize DDP is a legal man. But it doesn't matter, Sheamus just scoops up DDP and does the exact same thing to him. Stretching that back out across the knee. And Jameis looked like he had something in mind there, but turned it all around. And look at that, a spine buster for DDP as well. And Jameis might not need Fit Finley in this match, but he's going to tag him in anyway. Grabs a hold of Finley, shoots him into uh, the Sting and DDP corner. And there's that side salto slam, so unique to DDP's uh, moveset. And 
Dallas Page drops those elbows right into the neck of Fit Finley. And look at Fit, tremendous drop kick. Last week here on SmackDown, Triple H on the Big Show won the tag titles from Cesaro and Tyson Kidd. And they, uh, unfortunately for Triple H, wasn't able to uh, show his dominance on Raw, losing two matches. Not only a tag match to the Militia, but a singles match to WrestleMania number one contender, Chris Jericho as well. should be ashamed of himself. Staring right at the pin and just, you know, dazing out, I guess. As Finley snaps off another beautiful drop kick there. DDP took it down to the mat. And Finley looked like he had some sort of running attack in mind. But couldn't pull it all together. Oh, but he pulled that double stomp right on DDP's guts. But DDP snatches Finley, drops him with the running power bomb, right into the cover. Sheamus not too concerned, and Finley's able to escape at the count of two. Oh, but he might not be able to escape this. Hooked up, Diamond Cutter destroys Finley, but uh, the same problems plague DDP and Sting in a terrible, terrible part of the ring to attempt to pin it. Sheamus right there to break it up. Finley drops Sting right on his neck as Diamond Dallas Page drops Sheamus. And there's a big forearm to Finley. And there's the jump and jawbreaker. Tremendous maneuver by Diamond Dallas Page. And the referee down into the cover, but Sheamus too fast. Now last week, Sting and DDP put quite a beating on Finley, Finley and Sheamus, but they always chose terrible ring positioning. Meanwhile, look at this. Caught in midair, and Finley with the belly-to-belly, -belly, uh, pardon me, with the exploder-style suplex, sends DDP flying across the ring. Finley now scoops up DDP, hits that rolling senton, classic Finley offense. And now Finley falling into the same trap here, Sting making his way in. And Sting just makes the save at the very last possible moment. And look at that double axe handle out of the corner by Sting. Cover now. Ooh, and that was very close. It was enough. Well, the match continues. But I believe that would have been it for Finley had Sheamus not made the pin. And there's a sit down power bomb. But this time, Finley's in the ropes. DDP has to pay better attention to ring positioning. He's hitting these high impact moves, but too uh, too anxious to make the pin. And there's the diamond cutter in his own corner. And this is DDP's time. This is DDP's time. Cover now. One, two. Oh, and Sheamus had to come at the speed of light in order to break that one up. But Finley is the man to beat. Already took two diamond cutters and two sit down power bombs. How much more can one man take? Oh, and this is what finished off Team Sting and DDP last week. The Barney Stone Pile Driver. And Finley takes a second, now moves into the cover. But the icon Sting is right there to pick it up. DDP takes Finley into the corner, sets him up top. What does DDP have in mind here? And oh my goodness, just punches him right off the top rope and into the cover here. And the Belfast Brawler able to kick out. And DDP lining up the jabs here. 
and a huge clothesline to take down the Irishman. Cover here, and Sheamus right on top of things, breaks up the pin quickly. And look at this inside cradle by DDP, but is this enough? Reversed by Finley. And that's it. It's all over. The Anarchists pick up two straight victories over Sting and DDP. Let's take a look at some of the highlights here. You see Finley rocks Diamond Dallas Page and goes right into the cover as only gets a one count. And then DDP unleashes this vicious offense, that run and sit down power bomb, a DDP classic. That Finley survived not one, but two. Second time by a rope break. And then you see DDP goes for the inside cradle here. Only gets two. Finley reverses it over, and that was a huge mistake. And it's all over as Finley and Sheamus pick up the victory and go up two to nothing for Sting and DDP. In order for Sting and DDP to continue, they must win next week's matchup, or Sheamus and Finley will have swept them three to nothing. Tremendous victory for the Anarchists, Sheamus and Finley, right here on SmackDown. Next, the European champion is in action against one of his new nemesis, Justin Gabriel. Back in January at the Royal Rumble, Bad News Barrett took a loss to William Regal, but ended up defending the championship successfully against Regal in a rematch the very next night. Since then, Barrett's been waiting on a new number one contender, and this past Wednesday on main event, Adrian Neville picked up the win in a fatal four-way contest to become the new number one contender to the European Championship. In two weeks here on SmackDown, they will collide for the European title, but tonight, Adrian Neville picks the poison for Barrett, and it's Neville's own tag team partner, the high-flying Justin Gabriel. Can the European Champion send a message to his top contender, or will cracks start to show in the rain? A bad news bearer. The high flying Adrian Neville, the man that gravity forgot, overcame Rusev, Sheamus, and Sami Zayn this past Wednesday on main event to become the new number one contender to the European Championship. Tonight, he's supporting his tag team partner Justin Gabriel, who he picked to face Barrett here tonight in a pick your poison matchup. Can the North African sensation, Justin Gabriel, get a win over Barrett with his awesome 450 over the European champion, go boom, and blow Justin Gabriel right out of the water with the bull hammer elbow. And there's the bell as these two lock up. The Hit Squad been on a bit of bad luck recently. Coming up, uh, taking a hard three loss sweep to the Usos on main event. And of course, a bit struggling in tag team action before that anyway. But Justin Gabriel turning things around for himself and his team by becoming the new number one contender of the European title. Gonna have to be on top of his game to deal with the high flying antics of Neville. And this is actually a tremendous warm up as uh, Gabriel is not only his tag team partner but wrestles a very similar style to Neville. And this, of course, gives Neville a great look at how Barrett's gonna cope with those high flying maneuvers, so this is a great warm up match for actually both men. And look at that, you see that jumping uh, Lake Lariat lands heel first, right on the jaw, bad news Barrett. And there's Gabriel's high-risk offense, that standing moonsault, bringing all that weight crashing down into the chest of Barrett. And look at that brutal style Barrett brings to the ring, clubbing the arm of Justin Gabriel. And Gabriel, great inside leg trip there, puts Barrett on his back. And then he tries to take out the legs of the European champion. Nice 
nice head scissors take over there. And look at look at the agility of Eric. Floats right around Gabriel and hooks him with that neck breaker. And now he plants the knee right in the back of the neck and wrenches back on those arms, trying to get Gabriel to submit there. Can Gabriel hold on or will he give in? He's able to hold on for now. And look at this, going to the eyes of Eric. Very surprising, Gabriel usually not one to pull those type of tactics. Nice, tight sidewalk slam snapped off by Bad News Barrett. The European champion in control of his opponent now as he rains down taped fist. And there's the winds of change. Scoops up Justin Gabriel and brings him down. Boss man slam style into the cover. And it's not enough to put away Justin Gabriel just yet. But Barrett not wasting any time. Hits the wasteland. One of Barrett's favorite maneuvers into the cover here. One, two, three, and it's all over. Bad news, Barrett, victorious here on SmackDown. And is this a sign of things to come when Neville gets his European Championship match? Let's take a look at how it went down here. The winds have changed. That boss man spinning side slam devastated Gabriel, and that was the beginning of the end as Barrett scooped him up and brought him down into the wasteland. And there's the three count for the European champion. And next week, Barrett gets to pick Neville's opponent right here on SmackDown. But tonight, the European champ can celebrate another big victory. Best of three series continues as the Chick Magnets, Rick Rude and Dolph Ziggler take on the primetime players. Now Rude and uh, Ziggler are already down one match to nothing in this series. They gotta do something because if they lose tonight, this series is already over and the primetime players move on in the Tag Team Contendership Tournament. So it's do or die for the Chick Magnets here on SmackDown. They may be worth millions of dollars, but they're also up one to nothing in this best of three series against the Chick Magnets. Can the primetime players put it away tonight, or will they lose ground to Ziggler and Rude? Ziggler and Young to start off, and Ziggler hits a tremendous DDT, sending a clear message to primetime players that they are not going to be run over. Ziggler and Rude won a best of five series over Swagger and JBL, as both teams were brand new combinations just getting together. And the Chick Magnets emerged from that feud victorious. Now they move on to the primetime players, but they're already down a match. We're going to see if they can turn this around. The winners of this match will face the winners of the Mega Powers vs. Grapplers match. And that final match in the Contenders Tournament, the winners will face Triple H and Big Show at WrestleMania for the Tag Team Championships. So WrestleMania implications on the line in this one. You gotta win to move on. Tremendous side rush and lay sweep by Ziggler, and here he goes, dropping elbows. And Darren Young gets the triple cut. He doesn't get the full set of ten. That that heart stopper elbow drop combination of ten consecutive elbow drops in the row. Ziggler just gave him the, the curtailed version here on SmackDown. And Young trying to get back to his corner, but Ziggler standing in the way, making that making that human wall between him and his opponent. But unfortunately loses that advantage when he tags Rick Rude in. And Rude tremendous knee lift to the big deal Tedis O'Neal and follows it up with a nasty elbow of his own.
Oh, and again. That knee is a tremendously uh, devastating weapon, especially when you're uh, using it to aim attack the head of your opponents. And Root snaps a suplex off on the big man. And Titus O'Neil just being dominated by Rick Root here. And he finally makes an opening with the belly to belly suplex. And there's an elevated spine buster. My goodness, shades of Farouk, Ron Simmons with that one. And there's a tremendous power slam, and Titus O'Neil is back on top in this match. He is rolling. And another power slam. My goodness, taking Rick Root to the woodshed here with these slams. And Root's had enough. Powers the big man up, makes him think about it, and drops him down with a vertical suplex. And Rick Root's had enough. He's tagging the show off back in. And Zicker back in now to continue working on uh, Titus O'Neil. Misses the dropkick wildly. And oh my goodness, I would not want to take a kick like that from Titus O'Neil. He measured Dolph Ziggler and blasted him right in the spine. But look at Ziggler showing that durability. Picks up O'Neil for a suplex after that kick to the back. Oh, and O'Neil just avoids that super kick. One of Ziggler's favorite weapons. But Darren Young eats his jumping DDT. Another one of Dolph Ziggler's top maneuvers that jumping DDT, but he only gets a one count on Young. It was a good thing O'Neill tagged out. He had taken a lot of damage that would have put him down. And Darren Young, I don't know if it's a good idea to tag O'Neill back in yet. I don't know if he's fully recovered yet. But they're working the back suplex on Ziggler. And it, as you can see, it's, uh, he is feeling the effects. Grab it on his head and skull there. Ziggler got to be very careful, being a man who suffered multiple concussions in his career. Scooped up by O'Neal. And there's the super gut buster. And will that be enough? No, looking for Ziggler. His foot was on the ropes. But O'Neal, clash of the Titus, the elevated spine buster. And this is it for Ziggler, unless Rick Rude can make it in the ring of time. And he does. Ziggler and Rude need to win here to continue this series. Or not, the primetime players will move on and face the winner of P Mega Powers and Kid and Cesaro. Oh, and Ziggler sent right into the announce table here. And smashed into it one more time by O'Neill. And toss right back again. Great tag teamwork by the primetime players. And look at this Ziggler kicking the gut. And then the rear naked choke with hooks in. Will this be enough? It is. Ziggler and Rude pick up the victory to continue the series. Titus O'Neil could not withstand anymore, and he had to tap out to the rear naked choke. Tremendous victory for Ziggler and, and Rude, and now they force the third and final match versus the primetime players, coming up very soon. to the Daniel Bryan and Shawn Michaels feud. This has been going on for over a month now here on SmackDown. They tried to form a student teacher tag team, but they lost their first two matches, and Daniel Bryan snapped again, turning on his former mentor, and actually picked up the win over Michaels a couple weeks ago on SmackDown. But Shawn Michaels, even though score at Elimination Chamber when he pinned Daniel Bryan. So both men have a pin over the other, and they're looking to settle it here tonight on SmackDown in an Extreme Rules match. And the heartbreak kick. 
did Shawn Michaels, of course, as I mentioned, picked up the victory at Elimination Chamber with sweet chin music, and he looks to turn things, uh, keep things in his favor here tonight, and looks to put down Daniel Bryan once and for all, but I got a feeling no matter what, these two are going to be at, at odds with each other for some time, but tonight, both men have the opportunity to put a nail in the coffin. Extreme Rules match, you can injure your opponent using any variety of weapons found under the ring. What will these two do to each other in the main event of SmackDown to settle this war once and for all? There's the bell, and this dangerous matchup is underway. Michael shoots Brian off. Starts off with the atomic drop. And Daniel Bryan has a hard time with that, and he's gonna have a harder time with that elbow right in his spine. And Michaels brings it again. Anything goes in this one. Weapons, uh, using the ropes outside the ring, it doesn't matter. All that counts in an Extreme Rules match is pinfall or submission. How you get it done is completely up to you. And these two in-ring legends lock back up. Danny Ryan takes a waist lock. Shawn Michaels snaps off the snapmare. Brian fights his way out, takes a headlock of his own. And he lands a short right hand to break it up. And they lock back up. Look at this, these two men so evenly matched. Michael's the physically larger of the two, but uh, they just match up so well. Technical wrestling, high flying, brawling, both men can do it all. If I was to get either man to edge, I believe Daniel Bryan would be the better submission wrestler, where uh, the heartbreak hit Shawn Michaels might be the better brawler overall. Michael stops Daniel Bryan in his tracks with a nice back elbow there, but Daniel Bryan right back up to his feet. And take it right back down with the swing and neckbreaker of the, of the Heartbreak Kid. And Michael's now bow and arrow on Daniel Bryan. But he lets go. He can feel Bryan either escaping or maybe trying to find a reversal. Oh, a classic Michaels with that measured stomp right in the jaw. And Daniel Bryan went to go uh, shoot off the ropes there, but Michaels caught him. Brian belly to back suplex to Michaels. Perhaps he's trying to start start up softening that neck up for the yes lock. Michaels hits the corner, big boot. And Brian sends him right back in. Knee to the gut leaves Michaels center of the ring. And Danny Bryan scoops right up top. But Michaels, look at this, getting to his feet. Daniel Bryan also had something special in mind there for the Heartbreak Kid, but wasn't able to pull it off. Michaels, nice reversal to Bryan, but the Russian leg sweep and drops an elbow right in the chest. Upcoming this Monday on Raw, live right here on Twitch. Seth Rollins defends the United States Championship against Goldust, and of course the winner of that match will compete in the Champion Showcase at WrestleMania. And the Heartbreak hits heading up top, and there's a missile drop kick to Daniel Bryan. Puts him right down, and very surprised Michaels didn't go for the pin there. Daniel Bryan reverses the Irish whip, sends Michael over the top. And he brings him right back in with the vertical suplex. Oh, and there's the running knee. The fireball knee to the Heartbreak Kid. Is that enough to put the legend away? Oh, and Shawn Michaels kicks out at the very last possible second. And Daniel Bryan had enough going to search for some weapons on the ring, but he gets caught by Michaels. Sends the yes man back in. Knife edge chopped to Daniel Bryan, my goodness. And he snaps off the neckbreaker on Shawn Michaels. And is that enough to put Michaels away? Cover here. One, two, 
three, and it is. The neck breaker puts down the heartbreak hit Shawn Michaels. As Daniel Bryan is victorious, and that was the beginning end of the end for the heartbreak hit. Daniel Bryan snapped off the fireball knee out of nowhere, and Michaels couldn't recover, and he takes that vicious, vicious neck breaker from Daniel Bryan for the cover, the count, and the victory for the American Dragon, Daniel Bryan. And Daniel Bryan brings the score back in his favor here tonight on SmackDown, but I don't think the Heartbreak Kid is going to take this one lying down. I got a feeling we will see these two clash again in the very near future, but tonight belongs to Daniel Bryan. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm PWS Phil. If you like what you see, please subscribe here on Twitch, or if you're watching on YouTube, please subscribe right here on YouTube. This Monday, as I said, United States Championship on the line. Seth Rollins defends against Goldust. And of course, Wednesdays for main event, and Fridays right here for SmackDown. Thanks for watching, everybody.